and I have to put this probably top left and the middle about there and just see how that goes um it should be okay uh i've got a quick refresh of stream guys but i hope you guys are all well it's been a while since i've uh, streamed a game uh if you uh, just tuned into the stream do let me know if you can hear me okay um it's been a while since i've <laughs> done these um no remind me later okay okay just gonna quickly check it on my laptop guys Check on it. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Alright guys, it's all good on my end. Just had to check it on the laptop. Um just gonna quickly share this stream around and we'll be ready to go. Let me just check it on here. Okay, if you are just joining the stream, I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I played this game before, but um, that was the PS4 uh, version. It's um, if you guys have seen, uh, this has been out for about I think about a month or two now. But um, if you got PS Plus, you can um, get the PS5 uh, version for free upgrade. So that's uh, definitely worth doing. I'll definitely say that. Um, <clears throat> but um, yeah, as you can see, I've uh, done this game before, so I'm going to start fresh. Are you sure you want to erase all your current save data? Yes. So I'll be starting a fresh new game here, guys. So let's get straight into it. If you guys just join in the stream, hope you guys are all doing okay. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. It's definitely one of my favourite games on old gen and now on next gen. <clears throat> and if you are watching the stream, uh, just drop a, a comment um, if you use a play this game or not. I would uh, love to hear your uh, thoughts. Man, that game is stunning. That is all I'm saying. Game looks incredible. This is also running in HD on mine as well. Just make sure. So this is all fresh new game, yeah? Okay, so let's get straight in. There we go. Let's get straight into it, guys. If I can remember the controls. <laughs> Sorry guys, just quickly doing something. Okay, cool. Let's go. You know, I also turned the view count off on Twitter as well because I feel when you got the view count on, you obsess over how many viewers you got. So I have to switch off. So the only thing I can see on screen is your comments. Man, this looks incredible. When you compare it to the original game, a I lot more. Until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. <laughs> Played this like two or three years ago, so it's actually been a while. It's definitely one of my favourite games. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. Guessing they didn't come back to the house. What do you guys think of the graphics on this one? It runs in 60 f 60 fps uh, compared to the old game. My brother Lewis's funeral. Oh fuck! So she lost. She lost her brother. But I know quite a bit of this because I did play the old game. But. Um, 
It's one of those games you do remember, but you don't remember you know, everything. My mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. <clears throat> Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Can we go down here? Yes, we can. Or oh, we meant to head straight on. Oh, okay, you can zoom in in there, okay. That's with L1 and L2. If I remember correctly, you can't run on this game. Um. No one had driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few hoof prints. Can you go this way? Okay. Um, I'm not sure if you're missing something if you missed that section down there. Um, hello dear. That's definitely something you see on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm not sure if, if you missed something if you missed this part. But if you guys are just tuning into the stream, hope you guys are all doing well. Playing this on the PS5, so it's on the PS5 uh, version, because the PS4 one, if I remember correctly, had 30 FPS, but on the PS5 version it goes up to 60. And if you look at the graphics comparison, you'll see it on YouTube, I think this guy did a comparison, and you'll see the graphics comparison, and it's incredible. <clears throat> Just going in this section because I'm not sure if I've missed anything. What's this? Can you go in this section? Oh damn. What's this? Oh, that's the uh, young boy. I, re I remember what happens. To I remember the majority of this game, to be honest, but I just won't say what happens. It's actually quite crazy because with most games, I forget the plot. I, I forget the story. This is one of those games. It sticks in your brain. It was just a incredible game. There's nothing like it. But if you guys have played the PS5 uh, version as well as the PS4 version. Which one did you prefer? I think the, the PS5 is, one looks insane. Oh, here we go. Even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But yeah. now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. It's quite crazy, like if all that stuff happens, you don't really want to go back to the house, really. It's, yeah, it's kind of shit. The woods around the house have always Wait, been comfortable. Our first trophy. Silent. As if they're about to say something, but never do. And the twist out at the end is really nice. I do actually remember it. A really nice twist. Just happy I get to go back through this game again. But yeah, I've been off streaming for about two or three months now. So if you guys are just uh, coming back into the stream, um, I hope hope you're all well. So let's get up to this bit quickly. Which part is this? Oh, hey, got a hoop up there. Um, the house was exactly like I remembered it. Man, the that's way fucking I gorgeous. It. That's fucking gorgeous, that is. Look at that. Definitely taking a screenshot of that. Fucking gorgeous. Hey, give me a second, guys. Just gonna quickly uh, share my 
stream. I forgot to do this before I went live. Many apologies, guys. It actually allows me. It does work a bit slow on my end. Um, and in there. Okay, let's go. So yeah, as you guys can see, I have played through every step because it still says that I've gone through like every stage of the characters. I'm not sure if it brings up the faces of the characters. I'm not too sure. I can't remember that part. Um, it's been a while since I've played it, but um, yeah, it's a incredible game. Mm, I'll take a screenshot of that as well. <laughs> Just, uh, bear in mind, I'm going to take a lot of screenshots because the game is stunning. I asked Edie once about the dragon in the pond. She <laughs> said it had killed her husband. Wait, what? I was six. It seemed like an odd joke to me, even then. Oh, she was joking. I thought she'd be serious. <laughs> <laughs> She got killed by a dragon in the pond. I was, I was like, how the fuck can a dragon fit into a pond? <laughs> yeah, um, that's definitely something that's weird to say. Man, that toad is annoying me. If you guys are just joining into the stream, I hope you guys are all doing well. Just playing What Remains of Edith Finch. Uh, it's on PS5. This game's also on PS4, but uh, they've brung out a new version. If you're PS Plus, you get a free upgrade. Um, I'll also be uploading this up to my YouTube child, channel. The house oh, made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. I don't want to head up there yet, just in case I'm missing anything. It's one of those games you've got to really be careful what you're looking for. Um, let's have a look. Let's head down that way. Um, <clears throat> if I keep switching around, guys, just because I'm checking how the stream's doing. That's, that's all. Because I've got my laptop on the left side to me. Um now. As a 17 year old, I knew exactly what those words were. <laughs> I was afraid of the house. Mm -hmm. Well, you can't really blame her. Like, you, everyone you grew up with and loved, but where actually are they? Ideally, how you get in? I think is is that route. Oh, I heard something moving around in the garage. Is that now or is that past tense? As I said, this uh, really fucks with like I put on Reddit like what some people thought of this game, and lots of people still hold it up as like one of the best games. Of course, you've got the few that are like, oh, it's shit, but um, through most people. They adore this game uh, as much as I do. <clears throat> What's his name? Milton Finch. They made a game off uh, him. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, Swan something. I can't remember what it's called. But there's a spin-off game to this. Um, it's more of like a painting game. And then it pictures um, his uh, world. It's not, it's, nothing's real in that game. It's all in his mind. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, Swan something. If you, if you guys know the name, do it, you post it in the comments. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Okay. I hope the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. Ah. Oh. Let me in. in. I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. Yeah, um, that's a bit of a weird thing to say. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, let's go through to the back. But if you guys are just uh, joined the stream, I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I played this game before, but um, yes, it's my first time on the PS5 playing it because there's a new version. They've enhanced the graphics, so I thought I'll go back through this. And it's only two hours long, so it's not too much time either. Oh, at least they get some recycling bins up their way. Where we live, uh, we don't get that. Ah, that's right, we go through that. Yeah. Prowling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. <laughs> <clears throat> Does the light work? The power had been turned off the night we left. Nope. Didn't pay the electricity bill. <clears throat> Let's quickly do this as well. Okay, let's keep going. Um, I don't think there's anything really in this room, is there? You can't jump on nothing, you can only zoom in. No, it's light. No, you can't. For the first time in years. <clears throat> I felt like I was home. <laughs> oh. Depending how long it's been since you've been there, it comes down to. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Um, depending how long she's been away, it's. Uh, let's see what the house but condition is. Of a family, they were just memories of one. Mm-hmm. I can feel that, and I think lots of people can relate to that. Is you might go back somewhere where you think you're home, but as soon as you go back to that place, it doesn't feel like home any longer. It's just, just bad faults, things you don't want to remember. Like how only one restaurant would deliver to our house, so we had oh. Chinese a lot. Hey, you gotta love some Chinese. Yes, yeah, that's, that's a banging uh, take out. But is that in loving memory of Lewis Finch? Nineteen nineteen eighty eight to twenty ten. But I love brother to Edith, which is me, and then son of Dawn um, and great grandson to Eddie. Um, so they lost. Ah, okay. Take a screenshot of that. <laughs> yeah, I'll be taking a lot, guys. Just, um, just pre-warning. Is that a train? Or how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating <clears throat> salmon. Except our cat, Molly. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Lots of fish. It's going to be a fun adventure. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. Fucking hell. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Yeah, bloody hell. You left everything out. Um, this place must fucking reek. No one's left. They're all gone. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Um, man, this place is deserted. It's shocking that no one's really brought it though. It's a huge house. I, that would be gone on the market where I'm, where I'm living. That would be gone on the market. I'm fucking saying that r right now. Oh, that's a nice attention to detail. 
Got the little bird. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. Place Even the fireplace huge. had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. Damn. What is this picture? I wonder who that is. Any books you guys recognize? <laughs> is that from here? <clears throat> um. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. <clears throat> Who was uh, Barbara? Oh, I remember. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Wonder where the key goes then. Another bird right there. Been in this one, ain't we? Yeah. I'm assuming from here we go straight up, right? So. Yeah. As long as I've played the game, I don't remember a lot of like, uh, it's just I don't want to miss out on um, stuff, that's all. I think it's pretty straightforward from here. Okay. How much they left behind? My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but <coughs> she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. What happened to him? If you go right next to the door, you can see inside. Every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. Um, yeah, that's a bit creepy. That's good. Um, okay, there's nothing else, really. Not what I can see. Right, let's go upstairs. Here we go. After Milton disappeared. Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. <laughs> Thing is, though, staying in your room for the rest of your life, though, uh, doesn't sound like a, a fun lifestyle. I can't remember what section you've got to go to. That's, um, ah, I remember this one. Yeah, I remember. Um, I can't remember what section you got going. Is it in order? Let me check. There's me at the top. Um, You do what I don't know. Um, okay. Don't think it really makes a difference, to be honest. But whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Mm -hmm. Well, what happened to her was fucking awful. Edie's father, Odin, built the original house. <clears throat> hmm. 
Barbara was a child star for two years until America grew out of it. That's always the way in America. So that was 1944 to 1960. Who's is this? Sylvain and Edie. The last time I was in Edith Senior's room, I was ten and she was painting my portrait. So basically locked up all the rooms, and no one saw each other at all. Because they believed in a curse. They believed they was all cursed, so you, they thought if they locked themselves in their rooms, no one would die. But then you're not even living like. <laughs> nah, no, that's fucking depressing. Who's this Sam? Uh, Calvin and Sam. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. Fuck. Seven years with his dead brother. I fucking hope he weren't dead at the time. That's fucked up. Gregory. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. So you could literally only peep through the hole. So you could only peep through the hole, um, and you couldn't actually see anyone. What kind of life is that? If I can go up here, I don't Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. So there's a there's a certain structure to the game, so you can't just go into anyone's stories, uh, which are like it's got structure. Is Molly? Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with. If she hadn't died in 1947. Another person that died. Did anyone actually leave? <laughs> like, I know we all die at some stage, but I mean, how quickly some people were dying. I, I, I don't think it was a curse. I think they believed the curse and they were looking for a way. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. <laughs> I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Oh, she fucking sealed all the rest of the rooms. Why didn't she seal these up? Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Was this the key? Is that what the key goes into? Yeah. So then it will unlock the passageways. Turns out... My mom was really good at keeping secrets. Um, Paul. Paul? Now it oh, it goes up. Find out what my mom had been afraid of. Alright. Let's see all the stuff that they're keeping hidden. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. How did, did he get in if all the places were all locked up? Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. You guys I just. I had no idea where all this was gonna lead. If you have just joined the stream, I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you guys enjoy the game. Um, it's really fun. Um, I grew I'm up looking at Molly's oh. room through the peephole. Is that for this section? Oh, can't you view it from the inside? Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Mm -hmm. Well, you, ne you never got to go into the room, so you didn't know anyone. That's fucking mental. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier <laughs> gerbil cage. Looks 
looks like she's pregnant. Sorry, sorry, but that was one fat kid. Well, she wouldn't. She wouldn't be a kid now, would she? She'd be all grown up. got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. So as soon as she sealed the doors, practically no one could see anyone, basically. Man. December 13, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. So you play things how they vision them. That's cool. My Halloween candy was all gone. Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Oh, man. Oh, it's disgusting. Hello. I kept eating and eating. No, you didn't. Oh, no, 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 bro. No, no. things that night yeah ah, oh, they're not good you're not meant to eat those shit then I heard chirping outside my window I thought about eating Christopher but I held back it was a barn swallow going back to her nest I reached out for her. And suddenly... I was a cat! We are a cat now. Okay. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. didn't even look at me. When you look at how the game was all like that, it didn't have the best graphics in terms of how characters were made. But it's one of those games that made you think. Here we go. Um. Oh bloody hell. But so I'll get to that bird. I think it's through these. Can a cat actually die? Oh, it's assumed not. The babies were all gone. And to assume the cat can't die. Yo, Josh, uh, how's 
How's it going, mate? Just playing out as a cat. Um, what one do we go? Do we go that way first? Oh no, we do jump here. the cat can actually drive. I don't think it can. I could tell she was getting really tired. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised that I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared oh. about was eating that mama bird. Well, I'm sure you could explain that to him. Gonna get you, bird. Oi, did we get it? And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. This, this, this is one of the really fun parts of this game. I had lots of fun with this. I assume gotta look for rabbits, here we go. Gonna get you rabbits. I got you mate. No. Why is it? Alright, oh, so to actually attack. That's what got ya. I imagined his face looking up and oh, man. my talents. I swallowed him up and I didn't chew one bit. And then as long as you swallow. Bigger. What's bigger than a rabbit? Out here anyway. Maybe a deer? A mama but... rabbit. Oh. Okay. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. Oh. Pretty sure a shark would have died by then. A sign of blood. There we go. I grabbed on tight. There we go. Jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. I was big, 
gonna move real quiet. Yeah. Ah. Got ya. This is a really fun part of the game. I really enjoyed this. He did. Here's what I really like about this game, you can try, like, it makes you experience different things from every person's story. They have a different uh, style of game. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this stuff did not happen. <laughs> if it did, it'd be really fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm oh. sure Edie would have. Oh, okay, so it's like a fresh. Yeah, it is like a fresh game, so it's not actually continuing as much. So next was Barbara. So do you guys believe her story? Because I bloody well don't. Let's actually see if we actually can turn into a cat. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Mm -hmm. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. So, when we adopted mm. a stray kitten, <laughs> she was the one who named it Molly. Yeah, because isn't the... The cat's named Molly, not the girl. So who's the girl? Who's the girl then? If the cat was actually named Molly. Let's get in through here. This will be our next room. 
I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide <laughs> that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. So they came up with that story um, instead of telling what really happened. Because they were after creating their own narratives in what happened. One summer they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. Oh yeah, it's just creating a lot of stories that just aren't, just aren't true. Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Oh, it can actually go in there. Again, another... The only trace house. Grandpa Sam's first wife, yeah. Kay, left on the house was the pink bathroom. Yeah, that, that would definitely piss It me was off. a pretty big trace. Huh. Don't really think you see any pink in here. Not much pink in here, is there? Ah, so we use the same key and then we open up all these passageways. There's a secret in this bathroom. <laughs> it's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Ooh. So we meant to go in the other bit first. Um, Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. I'm going to see if we can come back on ourselves a bit later on. Cause I think I missed a bit. Um, yeah, we came through this bit. I was meant to go in the other bit. I don't think you can, can you? Ah! Yes, you can. Awesome. Because I don't think we're meant to go in these pictures yet. Because there's a little section here. Her room was like a museum. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune <coughs> and misfortune. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse. His wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. They believed in the curse. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Odin's daughter, Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home. Orcas Island. Okay, so Molly was actually a real person and it wasn't a cat. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Hmm, interesting. And we feel we're Whatever's in wrong Odin. with this family, it goes back a long ways. Yeah. And then we've got to find Edie. Is she in the same bit uh, we're in? I don't want to miss certain sections of the story. we got Odin, which is there. Edie, Edie, Edie.
Was schäme ich mich für eine Ruhe. Diesmal in der Ascension. Will hier mein B? So, what part is ED story? Have a look. So, that. That's Lotus. Yeah, it wasn't old. Can you get through here or? It's one person. knit me a new pair of gloves every year, just in time to replace the old ones. <laughs> Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Is there more to learn about Lewis? Or is this as far as he goes? I don't think there's anything else in this room, is there? Grandma had always been the family's biggest fan. Yeah, I can see that. Can't go in there, can you? Well, we'll come back on ourselves if we miss anything. So yeah, it would be through here. I'm sure we've, we're missing something there. I will see. Hopefully we don't miss nothing. First save point. Oh, these are the young boys, ain't they? So basically, the only time they came out of their room, pretty much, was to eat. Didn't socialise, didn't have a life. Imagine that, though, man. Fucking mental. I'm sure we'll find I out more soon. Sam had a twin. And that he never talked about him. Mm. Wonder why. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Yeah, seems like a reoccurrence thing. Here's Calvin. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. <laughs> this is one of the parts of the game I do remember. Well, I remember quite a bit of it, to be fair. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. Mm. Let's pick up his speed a bit. Wrong button there. Yeah. Pick up the 
speed would be nice. At Barbara funeral. That's an issue, this game don't tell you really certain controls. And he wasn't. That is where the game could have been. Always wanted to fly. But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. I told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Calvin, I'm not going to tell you again. As you can tell guys, you know what happens. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Mm. Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. Mm -hmm. I think he'd already made up his mind. Whoa, here we go. That's what I want to remember about my brother. No, nah, this scares the crap him just by doing it. Oh my god. The day he made up his mind to fly. And he did. <laughs> That's his story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. So, who have we got on here? Okay. So, Lewis is basically at the top. Um, so, yeah, we'll just go into each room. We'll find out. Um, well, I'll try my best to not miss any of the stories because they're all vital to the game. After the funeral, <laughs> Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Ah, uh, this bit, yeah, I remember. Uh, before I do that, just make sure there's nothing else in here. Do we get Sam's uh, story yet? Or is that a bit later on? said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. Well, they were close, wasn't they? They was in the same room. And he lost him when he was so young. What? Here we go. The passages were a pretty tight fit. Mm -hmm. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. So, that bit's not open yet, is it? No. So yeah, we'll go straight through here. Right, let's go. Hope you guys are all enjoying the stream now. It's um, 
really fun game. Uh, if if you have ever played this, what story was your favourite? Um, basically, goes through how they all die, pr- pretty much. Like, it's not a different storyline. Like it's all the same. Growing up, I, like. I always thought of Barbara as a child star. Mhm. That's what she was, wasn't she? not been touched. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Mm-hmm. I thought she would have burnt it. It's a really dark story. Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. <laughs> As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. <laughs> now at 16, she was all washed up. A has been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. Mm, getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums in Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him, right on cue. She reached for the music box. Oh, you can actually turn it yourself. Nice. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. <clears throat> How are you getting? Oh, fucking forgot they added this. Yes, boy. She found Rick's crutch and imagined the worst. See if I can get this one. No. 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 Oh, I missed. 
Yes, guys, I'm knocking, every, I'm knocking everything off. Oh, blood. Okay. Um. The gang's leader is the infamous Hookman Killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. trying to scare you to help you find your screen. Well, I'm not scared, Rip. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you She threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... Barbara! Walter? What's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. <laughs> this time I don't think it's a joke. I fucking love that they added that theme song into this game. That's fucking brilliant. I must say the graphics are insane. Never is in 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 horrors. That is some Michael Myers shit right there. Hello! At the door, she heard whispering. 
coming from inside the house. monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara. <laughs> Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, <clears throat> so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared in the same night. And little Walter, hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Ouch. Her fear. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> that was one of the toughest stories of the game. It's horrible. Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered, as absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. So we're we missing out on here. Yeah, that's one of the stories I, I, I did enjoy a lot. I guess now I know why mom doesn't like me playing with the music box. Can we go out this way? I'm not missing anything back here, am I? It's funny. All those All times I played with the music box and never found, found the basement key. key. Well, we know how to get down there now. <laughs> Have we done, Hayes? Then, no. I'm assuming certain characters you gotta wait until you hear their story. So you don't just get all the characters when you're in their room. Okay. No. Oh, okay. I wonder if um, that comic was right about there being a key inside the music box near the basement. Yeah, that's where I've got to go next. I was just checking the story. Yeah, that, that, that story was fucking cold hearted. That is what some fans do actually do, though. It, it, I think this is why this game was so good because all the stuff that happens, it does it it does happen in real life. So all of these stories would happen. I think that's why it, it was such a big hit. Like, it's in my top 10 games for PlayStation. Okay. And this is where we open Maybe I should go check out that music box down by the basement. Yes, I get the point. 
I know where I've got to go. Nothing else is open, is there? Well, I hope you guys are all enjoying the stream now. I hope you guys enjoy my reactions to some of the stories. Mm -hmm. So this is where we get into this section now. Good thing we know how to pull out. <laughs> no, I'm actually quite scared to go down here now after that story. <laughs> I saw Edie sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. Maybe she was hiding presents. It turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. Hey, what? I remember asking Mom once about where Walter had gone. Yeah, because he just, um... She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. Or oh, if he, he felt it was his fault, there's nothing that the boy could have done about it. If there's a pattern in all these stories, I think it's that none of us has gone very far. Mm -hmm. Hey, you get East Door. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. What? He's the mole, man. On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I survived it either. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Don't say you had peaches the, your entire life. Having a schedule, living for today. I always expected to be dead tomorrow. Yeah. But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything. So he was the mole. He was the mole man. But they never went Even down there. On the other side of the door, starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. Oh, what the fuck? How do you live on pe peaches for the rest of your life? And then what? One day, everything just stop. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting, or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. It's been a week now, the longest in 30 years. What the fuck, man? I'm done waiting. I have to leave. Well, I still can. You was... They literally thought you was a mole, man. They thought you l ran away, you left. But that entire time you was living under the house. What the fuck? Did he... S that's fucking nuts. That's fucking crazy. I 
know it's out there, somewhere. Whatever killed Barbara. Well, it was those fans, that's what killed her. And Molly. <laughs> Molly, I think, was food poisoning when she ate all that stuff. Calvin. Calvin died on the swing. Maybe this is all a mistake. But I need to stop living the same day. Even if it kills me. Oh, that's good. I really like that. Can we go back in? No. Now we've got to go forward, okay. Fuck. I remember what happens on this part. Whatever's out there, I want you to know I'm ready for it. I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. I don't mind if I only have a year left. Or a month. Or a single week. I'd be happy with one new day. I can already imagine the sun on my face. And that's where it's, the train stopped Walter running. Died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. Mm -hmm. But did they know he was down there? If so, that makes it even worse. Ah, so this is. Where he I'm was. I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. Yeah, sure, let's go with that. So, is there nothing up here? Yeah, if you are still watching the stream, I hope you guys. If you are still watching the stream, I hope you guys are all uh, doing well. It's been a long time since I've done a stream, about two or three months. So just trying to get back into it. So but this is my first game. Uncle under the house. Uh, but if she never told me about the uncle under the house, I can only imagine what else she was hiding. Mhm. Mm it's fucking crazy, man. Yeah, this is a bit. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. Oh, so there, there wasn't nothing else here. Okay. At least uh, it covers that up. I thought maybe I was missing something. Trying to bury something that's still alive. <laughs> now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two. Hmm. I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself and found out what happened to everyone else. When she said maybe two, Deffy has a kid. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Mm hmm. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse, we made it real. Yep. That's literally what I was saying. That's what I honestly believe is there was never a curse, but they believed it so much that they that they lived by it, and they thought they were all cursed.
Like, I don't believe there was ever a curse. Like, if you use a play this, what did you guys think? Did you guys think there was a curse, or do you think it's like they believed? I don't know if I should even be writing this. Well, you should write it, because it's, it's from your tree, like, yeah. So then you learn what happened. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. That was motion censored. But I thought you should know about your family. Mm -hmm. It's fucking gorgeous, that is. Look at that. And the history you're a part of. I'll, I'll be uploading all these screenshots up to on um, my social media as well. Though to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. <laughs> yeah, playing through this game, this is only my second time actually, because I don't usually play games twice. Um, but you learn more about what happened and who you're playing as. I think the people in these stories believed them for mm -hmm. what that's worth. Yeah. That's basically what happened. They believed it so much that it became true. It's like anything. It's like... If you believe that you won't succeed in life, you will not succeed in life. Like, whatever you believe will come true. Like, I fully am a strong believer of that. Is there anything here? No. Okay. Um. I don't know if we meant to go there or not. That is fucking gorgeous. I actually want to see how much this game cost uh, to make. Because by the way it looks, they could not have spent a lot, and I mean that in the best way. It's incredible. It's, it's a shame they never made another one of these games. Like, not, not the same, because you can't, because the story is um, only for one game. But, I mean, making games, I like it. I'll have to check on uh, the production team and, and actually have a look at that. And when you look at the house, mm -hmm. that history of imagination and stubbornness and madness, any of it seems possible. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're going back to the house now. Are we not meant to go down there? I'm, I'm not too sure. I think we've been surrounded by death for so long, we we've just gotten used to it. Yeah. You got used to it and you found a reason on why certain things happen. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? Yeah. This is the bit we'll get to now. It's so embarrassing for me to admit this, but... Wow. How many? The pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. <laughs> wow. Three of the gerbils are mine, and two had been my fault. Shit, man. 
Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. So Molly, she was 10. She died when she was 10. Wow, man. At least he lasted longer. Sixteen. Wow. That's where she's got the star on hers. Oh, they've all got something. I really like that. That's cool. I like how they've all got little, uh, little signs. Man, that's fucking beautiful. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. <laughs> My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. Mm -hmm. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. <clears throat> Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. section yeah okay just making sure is that down there they're just rafts ed side was always easier for me to understand but the older i get the more i can see where my mom was coming from and then her dad had been pretty strict but it wasn't enough to save her brothers she was just trying to do better mm -hmm. so Sam didn't last much longer after oh to be fair he did to be fair and Gregory won wow it didn't last long at all. What the hell, man? What the damn hell? She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. Mm hmm. Sanjay. Lewis, when did he die? Can't quite see that. Is that 2010? Yeah. I wish I could ask my mom now. <laughs> Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. Yeah, she wanted you to come def back someday. Yeah. And find everything out for myself. Oh, that's it. She wanted you to find your own answers so you can have your own thoughts on it. I'm swear I'm missing something. You can be sure that I don't miss anything. But looking back on it now, if she told me there was going to be so much climbing, <laughs> I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. Yeah. I never 
never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. There's still a lot of stories, Grandpa. Who's is that? Uh, is this Sam's room? Yeah. Sam spent his life shooting photos, but Mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. It's true. Views are watching a stream. What's something that you are scared of? Um, you, you, you're all scared of something. If I look at that, I'm going to look at the rest of the room. Let's see if there's anything here. So that's K. Okay. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. Mm -hmm. When he lost his brother, he, he probably, that's what he was looking for. He wasn't scared of it anymore. <clears throat> Don, I promise. You'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Mm hmm? Am I going to have to shoot anything? It's a hunting trip, Don. Shooting is strongly encouraged. Up that picture, for fuck's sake. Here we go. Never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. Okay, got it. That one I got. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. Where is she? Right, Dad, it's starting to clear up. Still freezing, though. Definitely should not have drunk all that yeah. coffee. Hmm. Hold still on. Hey! <laughs> 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 I'm just saying, I'm not always going to be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was going to be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? Last time I was with my brother Calvin. Man, that was a great trip. Your grandpa Sven taught us how to fish. How to build a fire. We found an old logging trail. With deer everywhere. I bet if I could remember where that trail was, we'd spot a buck for you in no time. Give me a minute to check the map. Anything. Come on. What was it? it? Could 
has been. Good eyes, Don. We're trying to take a picture of you. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of you. Wait, 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 wait. Great shot, Don. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? Sorry, Don. Just got to reset the timer. Mm. Oh, I'm meant to be moving. That's why. Dad, it's twitching. I think that's it's totally still... normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about. Dad. Oh. stories that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me mm -hmm. so you're still missing quite a few characters when you look at it you got Len uh, is, is that how you say the name um, <laughs> uh, ED so the ones at the top you'll get to a bit later on but I might have to go back to some of these Oh, I'm not sure if they go back through them. I, I'm not too sure. But if you guys are just tuning into the stream, I hope you guys are having a good day. Plan was to stream this a bit early on, but I had some issues on my end. So, um, yeah, I started streaming about one. But no, it's been really nice. Uh, I've really enjoyed this game. I played it on the PS4, so it's just nice to go back through it on the PS5. And it's not just like playing a PS4 and a PS5 game. It's actually a PS5 game. Uh, if you've got PS Plus, then you can upgrade it. Right. <laughs> I do think I've missed a few on here. Hopefully it allows you to go back over some. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. Imagine my mom ever writing poetry, and yet. That's fine. I'll do the story first. <coughs> Let me so guys. Shit. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh? When he thought he was alone. Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. I think he saw 
things the rest of us don't. Trying to get a G off. There we go. Trophy, there you go. Definitely missing some. So, Splen, Gaston. So, I'm, I'm assuming I'll get to Gaston and all them. I'm definitely missing some at the start. I'm hoping it allows you so you can go back to those points of the game. Um, hopefully. Gus. A poem for Gus. Ah. He said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard. Before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard.
Here we go. My father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. He'd never met her. We don't need a stepmom, were the words that I I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. Ha <laughs> ha! Get in, Gus. It's definitely something that's nice. all we do. The wind picked up, and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. This is not going to be Thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was make the music louder. I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't until we found you. <laughs> she never talked about him, but mm -hmm. mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to bring me Gus. Okay. Yeah, see, look, so we've gone through all of them. K's the only one that. So K, Flynn. Well, I'm assuming it misses that one because the one. It depends if Sanjay's on there. It depends. Okay, so we'll go up. Go up here. My go. mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. That dawn. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. Okay, I'll imagine seeing it is at 22 weeks. Okay. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think mm -hmm. it helped her a lot after her dad died. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Oh. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Lewis was born a year later. There's nothing else in there, was there? Let me quickly just check.
No, just... Oof. Oof. Um... No, we can only when go up When my dad died, there. I don't think Mom knew where else to go. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. And to see kids in the house again. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. And for a while, <clears throat> things were good. Almost normal. Ne never does in uh, this house. The beginning of the end was Milton's tenth birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. So I never got there. Um, go here first. After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. Oh, I've just uh, remember—I just remember the name of of that game. So at the start of the stream, guys, I was going on about this character for Milton. There's a spin-off game. It's called The Unfinished Swan. That's what it's called. Just managed to remember it. So that's a spin-off if you want to know more about this character of the Milton character. It's a very fun game. Oh, I had a really good time with it. As you can see, there's lots of painting. That's what that game basically is. I think Edie was happy to finally have another painter in the family. <laughs> I I remember that one. Finch in the magic paintbrush. Can you go slower or I'll go that pace anyway. Disappeared, all right. Yeah, so we're missing Edie, Dawn, and Lewis. I'm hoping it will allow me to go back to start because I ain't got Edie's story. I'm assuming they do it right at the end. I'm not gonna stress over it, but yeah, no, fuck.
And that's what happens in the um, unfinished one. So it continues his uh, story. Where he goes, I ain't got a clue. It, it doesn't go too much into that. But yeah, I'll definitely Mom's advise you to play that. My brother. Then she mm -hmm. sealed the doors. Ah, so that's what made her seal the doors. Can't you go through it a bit? Okay. Let's go through the window then. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. And then we go up to Dawn. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. <laughs> After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room until Mom got him a job at the cannery. So this is everyone always told me to stay out of Lewis's room nice. except Lewis what chapter are you meant to go to next is it Lewis so dawn is before that which one do I go to first Go to this one because I'm here. But you, you actually see what I mean, guys, um, about the game. It's it runs so smoothly. This room smelled very, very familiar. <laughs> that part of her lived on. This is the chapter that lots of people talk about because they can relate to it. Go back in here. <laughs> it's taking the steps I don't want it to yet. Okay. Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. <laughs> ah. What are consoles on? Quantum Turbo. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. Dear Mrs. Finch, Finch, as Lewis's Lewis psychiatrist, I can understand, understand your desire, desire for an explanation. explanation. As, as I, I see it, the, the trouble, trouble began in January, January shortly, shortly after, after we convinced, convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. abuse. Newly sober, sober, I believe Lewis, Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. He kept working at the cannery, but he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. Well, he's doing the same thing. Day His mind out. began to... ...wander. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I asked him to describe it. He said he started small. Imagining a labyrinth. A labyrinth, that's a brilliant film. To feel his way about. Then I'm trying to focus as well as the tuna fish. <laughs> Bats. And toads. Things that have not names. He knew it was all in his head. He took it very seriously. 
I had hoped he'd find himself. But he found something more. I worried about him. Daydreaming at the cannery. I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. I even encouraged it. It seemed very promising at first. He told me he'd made a new friend. Hello, doggy. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. I think it's so cool how they do stuff like that. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. <laughs> then he made musicians. So fucking creative. And songs for them to play. He talked about starting a band. He was always humming something. Every day his imagination grew stronger. Well, this is what he wanted, and his real life just wasn't it. He no longer spoke of the cannon. Mm -hmm. But his trucking was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him. At all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, in his imagination, so he could do whatever he wished. He held an election for men, and he won. Well, this is what he wanted to do. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. You Lewis. <laughs> no turn, turn, turn. Woo. Saint Lewis. He started drifting away from our reality. That is so fun. And if you crash, yeah. hmm, no, you can't. Until one day he forgot <laughs> to go home from the cannery. Mm -hmm. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. <laughs> In Lewisburg, he heard rumours of a. Handsome Queen. Yeah, this this definitely one of the best chapters in the game. The Queen was on her own quest for Radiant rainbows. He followed the sound of her. Electric sitter. He 
his chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. He knew the world was all in his imagination. But he was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, He'd become something greater than a king. <laughs> For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping the salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. He began to forget the world we know. Mm -hmm. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. Mm -hmm. He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. You see that? He's not even looking at what he's doing. I still I thought, thought I could, I could save, him. save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. The palace would be packed with his companions. Really enjoyed this story. Including the wise Calico and insisted on inviting. See that guys, that's chopping. It's gonna chop his head off. The rest I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. Almost. So I assume up this way, then we'll get to Dawn's story. On the way back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me mm -hmm. to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. 
I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. I wish we'd stayed. <laughs> but I understand why we left. Mm -hmm. yeah, you gotta see it from her point of view. My mom ended up leaving everything behind. Well, they were all separate in houses. What happened that night hasn't come in for a long time. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should have come sooner. <laughs> but it had to end one way or another. Yeah. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. That's eight, if not. Um, so, no, so that's ED. Am I missing one? I feel I'm missing one. I'm gonna come back to this. I feel I'm missing something. I'm missing Dawn's story. Or is this Dawn's story? I want to make sure I don't miss any one story. Just going to check something. Yeah, we're going through, we're going, uh, through his apartment. I'm going to this door. No. But there's a bit up here. No, no, no. Fuck's sake. Um. So go out here. If not, I'll go back. There's a bit up. Oh. No, we wasn't meant to go that way. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh, man. That does sound right about with me. Alright, let's go back up then. So, what's your thoughts on the game guys um i would love to hear your thoughts and views um i really like i love this game i think it's brilliant just no story is the same it's a very creative game it's definitely in my top 10 i used to say it was in my top five but it's good but um i don't know there is lots of games so it's tough to put it in that uh, bracket Let's just check through here that I'm not missing anything. Let's <laughs> make sure we're not missing anything, okay. day Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word <coughs> until supper when she raised her glass and said to our final <coughs> night together 
and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last... I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom said the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. That thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. <laughs> I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay? Dear <clears throat> There's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. You know, I've seen that house every day of my life. But I never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. Okay, yeah, I'll say. Lucky no, I got no turned way. around. Can't see nothing. For a while, I wandered. I started seeing things. <laughs> things I'd forgotten had ever existed. things came back to me. This is fucking brilliant. <laughs> Just the way they Maybe tell the story. I came back to them. <laughs> things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and... Edith, what are you doing in here? <laughs> It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it! Let go! I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw great-grandma Edie again. <laughs> the next morning, the band came to pick her up, but... She was already gone. After that, we moved around a lot.
We both tried to make the best of it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Sounds cool. A few years went by. My mom didn't like to talk about it. Nope. But she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> she got better for a while. And then she didn't. And then I was alone. The last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. Mm -hmm. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. Mm -hmm. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. This journal was supposed to be for you. <laughs> but now I hope you'll never see it. <laughs> I just want to meet you and tell you all these stories myself. But I guess if you're reading this now, things didn't work out that way. No. She died. She died when she had the baby. Didn't she? This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. Literally, I got fucking goosebumps by that fucking ending. I've played this game before, but you still get it. That's how beautiful this game is. And the graphics are incredible. Story by Giant Sparrow. Oh, for Shirley. Nice. But yeah, that's crazy, man. That story, it's its so good because the way you view it, it's, there's so many different ways to look at it. Because you could see it from the grandmother's point of view where the house, like if you leave the house, the house is not going to change what's happening. Like she believes it's an actual curse on everyone who's in that house, not a not the house itself but the mother views it as the house and the stories are what killed everyone in that house like you can view it from two different points of views it's it's so creative and it's like life you can view things from two different point of views that's that's why i think it it did as well as it did because most games you're like oh yeah those those things would never happen in a real in a real life scenario this game every single story probably apart from a few um they would happen in a real life scenario so when you look at that and when you when you think about the game itself you, you just gotta praise it like and that's, I'm so happy they've upgraded it to the PS5. It's the graphics just make it look so much nicer. Um, I'm ha I'm happy they didn't touch too much on the game because it didn't need it. Um, so I'm just happy they've enhanced the graphics because that's all that's all it needed. Didn't need anything more than that. Um, I'd have to see what other games that uh, Giant Sparrow did. That story was tough. 
uh, to watch. But that is what ha- does happen. That does happen if you look at some of the fans, what they do to some of these famous actors. You've even had it when someone goes to a live event. You got musicians will get killed on stage because there's some crazy ass fans. And some fans go beyond that by going into some actors or some famous uh, people's places like their houses, their homes. And they will do some crazy shit. That does, that does happen and that's what's quite terrifying about the entire game. What pass is? I like how it's uh, mentioning each each um, person that was in it as well. Ooh. Sorry about it, guys. Um, but, um, no, nah, it's just incredible. Like When I think of my favourite games of like the past 10 years, this is in my top 10. And it's only two hours long. This is why I praise it as much as I do. Um, because it's two hours long. This game is two hours long and it achieves things that a 30 to 40 hour game can't do. Like, it's fucking amazing. Um, like, sorry for cursing if you use that lot swearing, but um, it's just brilliant. It is brilliant how they can achieve so much within two hours. Well, you've got these long drawn out games, can't do half the stuff that they did. 2012 to 2017. Oh, did, did they? Was this like the last thing that they that they ever did? Um, Giant Sparrow. Yes, I've got easy. The replay story option is now available. Select Edith to play from the beginning. Okay, so. Um, and then from here you can do your own thing, but. Take a screenshot of that. Um, didn't miss any characters, did I? So no, you're Dawn, Gus, Gregory, Milton, Lewis, Edith, Odin, Edie, Molly, Barbara, Calvin, Sam, Walter. Because to know the full conclusion of what happened, you got to play the entire game as it is. But, um, no, I've had an absolute blast. Um, I want to try and get more views in, but um, I'll be uploading this up to YouTube and then... I might take some bits from the stream as well um, and upload it up to like TikTok or something um, and I'll be uploading it on to my social media and that but um, no this is a really fun game but if you guys are just watching the stream I hope you guys um, are all having a good day um, I'm just finishing up my stream this is the end of the game um, but if you um, are considering if you want to play it or not I definitely recommend it. It's one of the best games of the last 10 years. It's it's so good. This game was a PS4 game. And they could have left it as a PS4 game. But they are they upgraded the graphics to enhance the game onto 60 FPS. Like, to play at its best. That, that's how good this game is. That it got enhanced for a two hour game. It's incredible what this game achieved. Um, if I was to pick my favourite stories out of that, I like the Molly one, but it was more. It was a fun story. I, I like the ones that hit me hard is the stories that are deep and that are real. So the horror one for Barbara. So that was one of the, my favourite ones. Um, would you class the last one as a Dawn story? Or well, it's kind of Dawn, Edie, and Edith. But I'll say Edith. Um, that was one of my favourite ones. If I was to pick three, it would be Barbara, Edith, and Lewis. The Sam one is really good. I really do like it, but again, it's more of like it's um, it was a nice conclusion. Um, but those for me are the three 
yeah, they're the three best stories for me. But it, um, yeah, I was a bit confused with um, some of the storylines if I'd have to redo them, um, just the layout of it. But I'm really like I really like the way they add it all up. It, it runs really nicely, very smooth. But no, it's a very good game. I'll be posting my review for this game as well. Um, I never got to do that on the PS4 game, so I'm very happy I get to do it for this game. Um, but if you guys have enjoyed the stream, do drop me a follow on here. Uh, I'm back on uh, Twitch, and then I upload my uh, VODs, um, videos on demand, um, up to YouTube. And I might also take some bits from the stream and post them up on my social media as well. So... Um, those are all my main ones, so I use Twitch, YouTube, Instagram, Reddit, and TikTok. Um, like those are my, like all my main stuff. Um, so I'll be posting reviews on Insta and Twitter. Reddit, uh, just uh, if you want to follow me on there, or like just talk about a lot of uh, things that um, I'm very passionate about. So like uh, I did a thing of what I thought about this game um, in one of the gaming reddit um, groups on there and um, yeah it got uh, you, you get involved with a lot of people um, but if you guys want to drop me a file on there and you can talk about your favourite games I would uh, love to uh, talk talk to you guys about that um, this is definitely in my top 10 I might actually I might actually do that I might do my top 10 games so if you are watching this stream uh, put uh, what's your top um, five games on PS5? Not on PS4, cause I think it's quite broad. Like I want to know what's your best on PS5, and these these can be PS4 upgraded to PS5, but they've got to be from PS4 to PS5. It can't just be a PS4 game. So um, there's a lot for me um, to put on that level. So I can't put some some of my favourite games there, so I can't put Red Dead on there, because it's a PS4 game. Uh, can't put God of War on there, the, the old one. I still have to play the new one still. But um, I'll definitely put that up on my social media, and I'd love to hear what you what uh, you guys think. It'd be really good to uh, hear what your top five PS5 games are, or even games that you think don't get enough respect, and this is one of them for me. This is one of the games that is so ridiculously underrated. It is beyond a joke. Like this game. Uh, what's the other one? It, everybody Gone to the Rapture. That's the second underrated game. And uh, Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Those are my top three walking like uh, games. I've not played Death Stranding yet. But those uh, three games are... Very underrated. That's what I will say. Um, but um, if you guys just uh, pop into a stream now. I'm just finishing up this stream. Um, I'll be uploading this up to YouTube. And um, yeah. Um, to all of the people that have dropped into the stream. I don't know how many people watch. Because I turn off the view account. Because I find when you've got the view account on. It's a lot of pressure. It's. I find you obsess over how many views are on the video itself instead of focusing on the content. So I'll switch off the view account. If you are in the stream, do actually drop a comment so then I know you're in the stream. And then um, I'll be uh, happy to uh, talk to you all. Um, but um, it's been a while since I've done a stream. This is my first one in like three months. So... It's been a long time off. I've been like doing all my other stuff. I've been on YouTube. Like uh, I post lots of content on there. Um, but um, I'll be posting a um, like some stuff over the weekend. Uh, well, when I say weekend, probably be for Friday because um, I'll be posting a uh, couple videos for the wrestling event that's coming up this weekend. So if if there's any fans of wrestling here, um, do actually check out the stuff I've got on now. I'll be posting up some videos um, of some of the matchups that are over at the weekend. Um, I was doing some FIFA stuff, but 
I just I'm not mass I'm not ma I'm not insanely into FIFA right now. But if you guys do want to see that, then cool, It'd be great. Um, and then also if you guys are interested in Call of Duty Warzone 2.0, me and two mates of mine, um, we go on every Saturday at six at six fifteen p.m. Uh, this is on YouTube. So if you guys are interested, I'll be posting the link of that. Um, and uh, just go and follow their channels. They they are doing some great stuff on theirs. Um, but we started this last weekend, but we uh, messed up on <laughs> the voice part because uh, we didn't know that the voices were not being played in the actual video itself. Um, so. Um, that's the, that was a rookie error from us, um, but the, but yeah, we'll be on this weekend. We've got it all sorted out. We're testing the chat tomorrow, so we'll be doing all that stuff tomorrow, and then uh, then the actual stream will be on Saturday. So if you are interested in Call of Duty, do check that out and do check out the video that we did upload. Uh, <laughs> We had a really good time, though. Um, it's more fun when you can actually hear the stuff we're saying because we we had a cracking time. But it's just a shame we didn't bloody record it. Uh, but we had a cracking stream, and uh, yeah, we'll be on this weekend as well. So do check that out, guys. Uh, make, making lots of stuff on there, and on the odd occasion, I'm thinking of doing it on my channel as well. So, but uh, I do leave it up to. Uh, on his channel because he's got more variety so he can do all that kind of stuff but um oh i would be happy to do it on my channel on like the odd occasion as well though so um yeah um just go and check them out guys um but yeah guys uh this is the end of the stream hope hope you have enjoyed this game i absolutely love this game it's one of my favorite games um but i would love to hear what you guys thought with this game and what you guys think of the ps4 to the ps5 comparisons um like for me i think the ps5 game is so so good um you can tell the way it looks because on the ps4 game it's got good graphics but the ps5 one goes above and beyond they didn't have to enhance this game but they did it for the fans and i can respect that um but um but that's the end of the stream guys um i won't go on and on and on because i can with this game and about games as as a whole but um if you guys have enjoyed the stream do drop me a follow and check out um all my other stuff i'll be uploading this up to youtube as well as a vod and i will edit it into a youtube video so uh, keep keep eyes out uh, on that um i upload stuff on there as well but my next game, I'm thinking my next game will probably be Assassin's Creed. Uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, do let me know. I want to get into that game. And I've got tons more games coming up. So um, I'll be putting a... Um, I'll, I'll be putting it up on Twitter. Uh, what games you want to see me go on next. But I, I do think Assassin's Creed will be up next just because... I keep prolonging playing it and I just need to just get into it. I just need to go and play it. Um, but um, if that's a game you would enjoy me playing, I know it's been out for a long time, but I, I want I want to get into it. Um, just need to be more consistent with my game stream. But if that's stuff that you guys would want to see, then do let me know. But that's the end of the stream for today, guys. Um, it's been... It's been a it's been a really nice stream. I want to try and get more people into the stream because I find it more fun when I can always talk to join the stream. I don't ever like being quiet because if you're just being quiet during a stream, you may as well just go and play the game on your own. Like it beats the point of doing a live stream. So I want to talk as much as I can, get as many people involved as as I can, and um, yeah, I just hope you guys all enjoy the stuff I'm making. Um, I'll be taking a bit of a break for today and then I might upload those videos um, for the wrestling. So if you guys are interested in that, do stay tuned for that. 
and um, I hope you guys all had a great day. And also, if you um, are watching the World Cup, what teams are you guys root, root, rooting for at the moment? So for me, I am a proud UK fan. So, you know, chewing on the UK. But if they don't win it, um, I can see Brazil going all the way. But they're a team that's still approved themselves. And I'll say France. I think France right now are the go-to team to beat. Um, it's just the uh, mentality. But that's a bit off uh, off the game itself. So that's just stuff I want to talk about. But I'll be posting that sort of stuff up on my social medias as well. So if you guys do like the stuff I do post, do drop me a follow as I try and build myself and try and uh, get lots of like-minded uh, people on my channel and oh also on the odd occasion if you want to do some community night so when i play with some of you followers um if you would like to get into a trip into a stream on twitch i would love to do that as well um it's very easy to do it on Twitch because I can just add as long as you're in my part in my party chat. It's so bloody easy to do. Um, so I would love to do that um, if you are up for that. Um, so that's what I would do if I'm on with the others at some stage. That's what I will do, and I'll be putting it on my Twitch channel. So if that's something that you would all be into, do let me know. Um, but until next time, guys, that's me all done for today. As uh, you know, I talk, I talk, and and I talk, but I try my best. Um, but um, but yeah, guys, that's the stream done for today. I'll be back on for Friday. I'll be putting it on my schedule, and I'll be putting what games I'm going to be on. So I think it will be Assassin's Creed, but I will just uh, keep you guys all posted, and I'll post online what game I'm going to be on next. But until next time, guys, have a great day and I'll catch you all later on, guys. F f thank you very much. Bye.